All right, guys, I'm gonna try and get one more video in before my phone dies. It's showing 20%. Uh, we got a Nissan 200, I think it's a ZX or SX, 200 SX. Uh, this was sitting out in the woods for a very long time. I've never seen one. When I first pulled into the driveway, I seen the back of it and I just glanced at it. I was like, oh man, a Toyota Celica, but because it kind of has the same roof line, body style, two door hatchback coupe looking thing. Uh, it's kind of like the Celica I used to have because mine wasn't the slant back, it was the trunk style like this one. And it had the same ridges on it, but mine had a little bar that came up right here and went across. Uh, anyway, this was a, I forget what year this was, nine of 81, so possibly 82, Nissan 200SX. And there's Dotson written all over this thing. There's Dotson there on the steering wheel. I think it's on the deck lid. They got the D right here in the center for Dotson. Uh, there's a Nissan brand. You have power windows, four power windows. And this is a two door. So these back windows would come down. And then you also had a quarter window, which is very awkward. So, I guess all this right here would be open and you got your little quarter window kind of a weird styling concept but I guess and then you also had separate left and right mirror controls that is very weird I have never seen that in any vehicle ever to have separate mirror controls most of the time you gotta switch to change from left to right, but this one specifically has left and right, which is very weird. Uh, steering wheel is typical of the 80s. You got a very large open area, and then you got the two spokes down here. These are your horn buttons, which that one looks to be broke. Uh, they really did change this because in accidents, there's such an open area here with no support when they got hit, this would actually fold it backwards. So they started putting more spokes towards the center or you know more towards the top. Uh, this vehicle is showing 188,592 miles. So they definitely got the year or the use out of this vehicle. You got a battery uh, gauge here, tachometer, fuel, uh, coolant, speedometer, oil, and then you have a quartz clock down there which was digital, all your warning lights. Looks like the factory radio is still in it. Your heater AC controls are still in it. This was a manual five-speed car. Cloth bucket seats. Oh, I think this was a front-wheel drive car, if I'm not mistaken. It does have another door in there, believe it or not. That is another door to this vehicle. It's just kind of crammed in there. This uh, is just kind of blown up and flopping around. Just kind of sits there. This vehicle is getting crushed, so you don't have to worry about this turd sticking around. Uh, if anybody needs any parts on it, I will keep it for a few more days, but it will be leaving us. I do will admit i do like this hood i like the way the body lines are you can't really tell because it's dirty right now but this is a high ridge right here and then it moves over for these fake uh, vent louvers i do like that styling it looks really good i wish it was clean it'd show up a lot better the front of it reminds me of an old cavalier not a big fan of this egg crate grill looking thing that looks like cavalier all day long uh, plastic bumpers, typical of them going to them safety bumpers is what they call them. This is a four cylinder. This is rear wheel drive. I'm sorry. thought this was front wheel drive for a minute. Uh, this is rear wheel drive, four cylinder. So it's going to have five speed manual. So this would have been a pretty fun car to drive. Looks like it's got power steering. Uh, let's see what else. There's the alternator down there. Let's see if they had AC. It did have air conditioning. So this would have been a cool little car to run. It looks like it's all there, all complete. Might be a, a 2.5 or 1 point something. 
Where is the code at? Uh, I ain't too worried about it, I guess. All you Nissan guys will figure that one out. But I figured I'd show you guys this. Uh, I can't remember what he told me what was wrong with this car. I know he parked it down in the woods uh, for a very long time. I don't know if you guys can see any of these or not. But you have them now, so. Uh, like I said, I'd, I might hang on to it for a little bit, but eventually this car will be getting crushed unless someone is needing some parts for it. I imagine these cars are pretty hard to find uh, as I have never seen one. And, uh, you know, I really didn't even know they existed, to be honest. And now that you stand back here and look, it looks kind of weird because the front end is a lot longer than the back of the car which is kind of weird most of the time they're mostly even um but anyway it's got the four matching wheels so if you need the wheels we got them i imagine those might be a little hard to find i think the hood is pretty good condition as far as dents and i don't think there's much rust on the inside but if you need me to i can take a closer look if anybody's interested uh, but we will be moving this one out of this yard here in a little while. Uh, we're kind of running out of room. So this one will be leaving. But I appreciate you guys watching. If you need anything or know anybody who's needing anything, let me know and I will set it off to the side. Uh, I still have plenty of room way, way out back to hold on to these cars for a little while longer. So like I said, if you need anything, I'll hold on to it for a while. Uh, appreciate you guys watching and I will see you in the next one.